My current research is focused on what's called the global ocean overturning circulation. So at high latitudes in the polar regions, the surface waters during the winter time get very cold. And because of that, they're heavier than the waters underneath it, and they sink. And when they sink, they carry with it their properties at the surface, the heat, the carbon dioxide, and their salinity. And those waters then sink and they spread to distant parts of the globe. And that means then that other waters, the surface waters, have to return to those high latitudes, and they bring with them warmth. And why it's particularly interesting right now is that we know that since the Industrial Revolution, 35% of the carbon dioxide that's been released is now stored in the ocean. And it's stored in the ocean because the overturning circulation has taken it from the surface to depth and then spread it to the deep ocean. But there's big questions that remain. We want to know, well, if the overturning changes as time goes on, how will that impact the ocean's ability to be a reservoir for this carbon dioxide? And the fact that the ocean is a reservoir for carbon dioxide is good news because that means that carbon dioxide is in the atmosphere warming, but it's also bad news for the ocean because it leads to ocean acidification. A few years ago, a number of oceanographers across the globe, in fact from seven different countries, came together and designed an ocean observing system. And this ocean observing system is a system of ocean instrumentation that's in place from the coast of Labrador all the way across the North Atlantic to the Scottish Shelf. And these instruments that are arranged from the ocean surface all the way to the deep part of the ocean are continuously measuring ocean currents, ocean temperature, and ocean salinity. And all of that data that we gather gives us a measure of the overturning circulation and helps us learn more about the mechanisms that are driving that overturning circulation. So my work is really focused on trying to understand how the physics of the ocean, the overturning, will change in the years and decades ahead so that others understand how that will impact ocean ecosystems, climate, and ultimately ocean fisheries.